Exactly. What makes perfect common sense for your saying about your presentation? I would be a fighter for you guys. I'd be a fighter for any community that is. It's, it's just not right. It should be on achievement. You need the best people in all positions in life based on work ethic and integrity. So we do have some issues. I just have excited to have an opportunity for an outsider to come in. It's tough, but I like to fight. And you see my sign say, Pa fights back. I do fight back, but I also fight back. <laughs> and I know the work ethic in the Chinese community because we compete. And they can work, and they really work hard. And we do the same. We're, we're artists. And it's a very difficult field for creating and producing a product. And that's what makes the thing, that's what makes the world go around, producing products and selling them. So thank you for giving me this opportunity to meet you. I'll be here, you can talk to me. Follow our campaign, BobAnderson2018.com. You'll see I'm a common sense conservative, and I'm one of you. I'm going to fight for all of us because I know what we're all going through in the community, because I've had to deal with all these issues. So thank you so much for including me. I really appreciate it. And they keep taking my money and giving it to people 
who are asking for a handout. And so I, um, I got completely frustrated and decided to run for office, and I've been in the Minnesota Senate ever since. Which brings me to why I'm running for the U.S. Senate. It's the, it's the same thing. The person that I'm running against and Bob's running against, Bob and I are running against each other. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the endorsement June 1st. But the woman that we're running against, Tina Smith, is she would prefer for Minnesota to be a sanctuary state. She would like to just open the doors and let everybody in. And so Tina Smith, I was not going to let Tina Smith walk away with this election. So I'm going to bring the same work ethic that I got from my immigrant grandparents and my parents and that we're teaching our children uh, back to Washington, D.C. So I, I, I would love to have as much help as I could get um, for this U.S. Senate campaign. I, it would be uh, the website's housleyforsenate.com. Also, on the bill, the data deseg desegregation bill, um, I did support that in the Minnesota Senate, not the bill, but the uh, amendment that she <coughs> had and Kelly pushed for. And uh, Senator Roger Chamberlain in the Minnesota Senate is who had it over there. And now that the governor has vetoed the bill, um, it's kind of it's kind of up in the air. So what I wanted to say, uh, I know everybody's hungry, um, but it is so important that you continue to push for it. And Zoe, thank you so much for all the work that you do down at the Capitol. There are 67 Senate districts, so you need to find you need to find some Chinese Americans in all 67 of those districts so they can put pressure on each one of the senators in order for that to pass through next year. Thank you so much, Carl. Hospitable folks in China 
or to me, and it's just an example of, of how things should be here too. And, and you know, when I was in Beijing in 2000, there was a there was a small restaurant down in Chicago that we used to go to, my uh, colleagues and I, and we would uh, go there maybe once a week. And we hadn't been there for a couple weeks, and we went down to the and uh, came to the restaurant, but there was no restaurant one day. It was, it was a pile of rubble. And why is this gone? Why is this gone here? And I saw the owner of the restaurant, who I'd come to know a little bit, standing over to the side, who looked very insulted. And I went over to talk to him, and he explained to me that, that two weeks before, uh, people from the Chinese government had come and told him that his restaurant would be demolished. He would be compensated but the restaurant would be demolished to make way for green space for the Beijing Olympics that were coming up in several years, right? And two weeks notice, two weeks notice. And I asked him if he hadn't even gotten any compensation yet. And no, he hadn't gotten any compensation yet. And he didn't look terribly hopeful that he would. See, that's a problem with the rule of law right there, right? That's a problem where, where the government can go in and just by will destroy a business that a person spent a life creating then you have no protection and the law means nothing. Yes. We don't want that to happen here in the United States as well. <laughs> all that is so important and so wonderful to see you all getting politically involved, getting engaged, standing up for the rule of law, standing against data desegregation, standing against bringing race and ethnicity into the law. We cannot have that in the United States. We cannot have that in Minnesota. When I'm attorney general, I'll make sure that we don't have that in this state. Just a couple of brief things about the Office of the Attorney General and why this race is so important. Welfare fraud. Some of you have probably heard about the story in the news the last couple of weeks with Somali daycare centers and welfare fraud. Have you heard about this? Yes. yes. So we have a situation where $100 million a year of state taxpayer dollars, subsidies that are supposed to go to children in need to pay for daycare, childcare, those subsidies are being defrauded by daycare centers in the Somali community. They're claiming to care for children that they don't actually care for. Then stealing the state dollars, and a, a significant portion of the money is going overseas to what are called hawalas, which are money courier services that are set up in Islamic countries because they can't charge interest under Islamic law, so it's like a substitute banking system. And at least one of those hawalas, where this money is going, $100 million a year, is owned by or affiliated with Al-Shabaab, the terrorist organization. So just terrible. Terrible, terrible fraud, supporting terrorists, or killing Americans. Now, how could this happen, you might ask? And what does this have to do with the Office of the Attorney General? Well, the Attorney General is the one statewide official that has the duty and the, the authority under, under state law to prosecute and also bring civil lawsuits to recover money from welfare programs that, de that are defrauded. So, Lori Swanson, our current Attorney General, she's been Attorney General for 11 years. And she has known about this problem, as we all have, for several years now. And she has done nothing. She should have been prosecuting these cases, she should, should have been investigating, and then lining up cases to prosecute, and bringing cases to recover money from the state as well. She's done none of that. So when I'm Attorney General, we're going to focus on welfare fraud, we're going to reinvigorate the welfare fraud unit of the office, we're going to stop welfare fraud, and we're going to make sure that we don't have money, taxpayer dollars, going overseas to fund terrorism. Things. I'll cut it short because I oh, oh, we all want to eat, right? But you know, we're going to reinvigorate the criminal law division of the office. We're going to keep our kids and our families safe. We're going to make sure our county attorneys, who are our frontline prosecutors, have the resources that they need to prosecute crimes and put criminals behind bars. And we're also going to work on the issue of election integrity. We have a problem in Minnesota with voter fraud and illegal voting. We're going to send the message that if you cast an illegal ballot in Minnesota, you're going to go to jail. Just doing that thing, it's going to change the way government and politics works in this state. We're going to get our state back on a path toward liberty and towards prosperity. And that means people working hard, immigrants working hard, all of us working hard to, to raise ourselves up and to create opportunities for our children, right? And, and, and we're going to secure that into the future by securing the rule of law, which is really, really the foundation of everything in America is built upon and stands for. So thank you so much for being here. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to speak. God bless. Can we take a group picture? No, no. Yeah. 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 Yeah.